So one of the cool things that Tamagui also provides, it has that base layer of styling, but it also provides a lot of components. And the components remind me a lot of Radix, uh, but I'm really interested to know how they actually work. Like, are you using Radix underneath or do you have to like implement it in such a way that you can do it on both platforms? Um, yeah, I was definitely inspired by, by, is it Radix? I've been calling it Radix. I'm, I'm bad at this. <laughs> v, v, Radix, Radix. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Radix. okay. Um, I'll do, I'll go with Radix though, but I, I've never actually heard someone say it out loud, so I have no idea. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it is rad. So that would make sense. <laughs> um, no, they're amazing. I mean, they did such a great job with that library. I was very inspired. I love the composable components API. I think it's genius. I think that's like, I mean, especially like, it's just it's kind of like the one of the hardest problems in styling or like in front end is just like how do you provide an API surface but also let people like customize every part of it and you know in the past people you've had something maybe like where you have like a prop that's like text props or inner you know frame props or something like that and you you just take all these sub objects but that's just it doesn't nearly give you what you need because it's just like how you want to resort maybe like the inner contents, right? You want to just, you want to flip the ordering or, or you want to like nest them multiple times. It just like, it, it immediately runs into like impossible problems. So I think Radix was great. Um, the obviously, yeah, for native, um, I couldn't just use them or, or I would have, and there was an option maybe to like write it twice, but I, obviously, you know, the point of time was to try and see if you could bridge that nicely and react native does and react native web do give you those nice APIs, um, or the, that that API surface gives you a lot of the stuff you need to implement it. So my process was actually um, to most of the time just to steal, like to take the source, obviously leave the licenses in place, but and then to like rewrite it, um, but use kind of a similar structure. So like a lot of the Tamagui components started as like, you know, we need this. Let's think of the, the right way to do it maybe for native. It, some of them are a little different in like how they actually work or, or what they do, but a lot of them are very similar and, and even started out as just like, taking the Radix source, kind of stripping it down, re-implementing a lot of the insides, um, and then getting it to work with some of the more Tamagui like style ideas. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's been really nice. So like, yeah, yeah, so it definitely, even the website, I think we took some of the ideas from like, I think I even took some of the website, like documentation, like the the show code and some of the toggles and stuff like that. It was just, you know, great artist steal. Um, but yeah, shout out to the, the that team. And I think they did a really good job. And there's some differences like, uh, Tamagui didn't start out as unstyled, um, but it does have an unstyled prop now for almost mm -hmm. all the components. So you can basically take the styles out. Um, I think for version two, we're sort of thinking about going fully, like having like an option just to import it as unstyled basically, um, or yeah, just to bring your own styles a little bit more cleanly. Uh, but we're, we're almost there, basically have it almost working. Um, and then there's some like cool stuff that's come from that Radix style approach, which is like one of the big things that I think is one of the coolest parts. And I, I just haven't done a good job of like talking about it or demoing it. I've got like some cool demo videos for sure that I think we could um, put out that would show this, but uh, we have this idea of an adapt component that it, it, if you nest it inside of your like certain components, you can adapt them to other components at certain for certain platforms or certain media queries. So for example, like a modal or a popover, you can adapt into a sheet uh, if it's on mm -hmm. like a touch device or something like that. And then it'll actually portal the contents so it's kind of cool like you you just have this like one big thing that's like um you know your portal and all has all the contents and everything you need it and then inside of that you just put adapt and then you put sheet and then you have your sheet all your sheet com components which are also radix like so you can customize all the sheet stuff and then you just inside of the sheet where you want to portal it you put like adapt dot contents and uh it's pretty cool it, it, it like magically turns from a from a popover into a sheet uh on a small screen or something like that and uh the amount of like stuff that that's doing you know compared to like if you were trying to implement that yourself is is insane but also i just think the radix like that flexibility like where you can you can fully customize both the sheet and the popover and then adapt them into each other because they're nested composable components like that it's like i think it's that's it's a really cool like maybe one step it's like unlocked by the radix api um, but also kind of working in a in a new way that's pretty cool